What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. This video is going to be a quick one for those of you who have the LilyGo T-Deck from my previous video and want to flash the Mesh-tastic firmware on it and do a basic config. Before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to the channel's recent supporters. Your support is very much appreciated and if you're finding these videos useful and would like to support the channel as well, you can do so by using the coffee link in the video description or by using the thanks button below the video. Thank you for your support and helping with the channel's continued production. So the T-Deck is a ESP32 based device so we can use the Meshtastic ESP32 web installer for this and this is at flasher.meshtastic.org and I'll include a link to this in the video description. Now one thing to note is I, I do believe this only works with Chromium based web browsers but if you're on a Windows system you likely already have Microsoft Edge installed and that's what I'm using for this video. Now before we can install Meshtastic to the device, we need to put it in a DFU mode, which stands for Device Firmware Upgrade. And to do that, make sure the device is off by using the switch on the side. Make sure that's in the off position. Then go ahead and hook it up to your computer if you haven't already. And then push and hold the trackball. And while you're doing that, flip the switch to the on position. And as soon as you hear that USB connection, you can let off the trackball. So now with the device in the DFU mode, we can go here and select device and you'll see an option for TDAC here. Then we'll select the firmware version. And at the time of this video, the alpha version had more support for TDAC, so I'm gonna select that. Then for this last dropdown, we're gonna change this to wipe and reinstall device and we can click connect here. Then we'll be presented with a list of COM ports available and we'll want to make sure we select the correct one. And this USB JTAG serial debug unit is what you'll likely see on your end and want to select. You may see a different COM number in your case though. So select that and hit connect. Then we'll select install TDEC. Then hit install at this screen and we'll wait for this to go through. Once that's done, we'll be presented with this installation complete message. We can hit next here and we can close this out. So at this point, we can go ahead and flip that switch to off and then back on. And the device should boot into Meshtastic at this point. It'll take 10 to 15 seconds or so. So once Meshtastic is booted up, we can move on to the next page, which is going to be client.meshtastic.org. And I'll include a link to this page in the video description as well. Now on this page, we'll go to new connection, then serial, then we'll click on new device. And here we'll see a new COM port with a different name, likely tiny USB CDC. So we'll select that. You'll likely have a different COM port number. But as long as it says tiny USB CDC, that's likely what you want. So click on that and click on connect. And you'll see a new device pop up here. So we'll select that. And we'll see the background change a bit and we can close this window out. So the first thing we'll want to config is we'll go to config. We'll go to radio config, then LoRa. And we'll want to set the region. I'm in the US, so I'm going to select US here and the rest of that we can leave as is. Go ahead and click save here. Now once you do that, the device will reboot. So keep an eye on the device and once it boots back into Meshtastic, we'll need to refresh this page. Every time you make a change that reboots the device, we'll have to refresh the page and go to new connection, serial, and here we can see the device is already here since we went through that process earlier. So we can select this device and close this window. So the next thing you'll probably want to change is the device name. It's called T-Deck, have T-Deck. So long name can be whatever. The short name has to be four characters or less. So I'll do K EDK. So we'll save that. That will also reboot the device. So after the device boots back up, we can hit refresh again. 
the new connection serial select the device and here we can see the name has changed the region is set to US now there's a lot of different settings you can change on here uh, I won't go into that in this video I do plan on doing a series on getting started with MeshTastic and I'll cover a lot of that stuff here or there rather but one thing I do want to note in the previous video you probably noticed that I had a number of preset messages and that's that's this canned message section the web client does not have the option for typing in the various different messages that you want to set to do that it looks like you have to connect the device to your phone to enter those in and I'll probably cover that in the uh, getting started with mesh tastic series but for now you do have the ability to just start typing on any screen and then send a message to whoever you want by either swiping left or right to select who you want to send the message to but as far as the list of canned messages you have to set that up via the, the phone but I won't cover that here that's going to be covered in the getting started with MeshTastic series but for now that's enough to get you started with MeshTastic on the T-Deck but for more advanced options stay tuned for that getting started with MeshTastic series That'll do it for this video. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one.